just wow. jaws it. A third round 64 at the 2011 Tour Championship tied Baddeley for the lead, and he was in contention for victory and the season-long chase to win the FedEx Cup. However, that wasn't driving the 30-year-old Aussie. He had another goal in mind, making the President's Cup team. To be able to get on that team, to be able to be my first one in Australia, being in my hometown, that was a huge goal. He missed out on a three-way playoff by one shot, but that was enough to impress Greg Norman. Aaron Baddeley. I want to play every President's Cup. I love being part of the team. It's like something that we don't get very often in this game. It was in his hometown of Melbourne where Baddeley became one of the best junior golfers in the world. He won three international titles before he was even old enough to celebrate his victories with champagne. I want to play on the US Tour and be the best in the world. At the 2003 Sony Open, the then 22-year-old rookie went head-to-head -head with one of the world's best. But bats came up short as Ernie Els drained a 40-foot bomb on the second playoff hole. You're playing best players in the world. It's not easy. Despite the fast start, it would take three more years before Baddeley had another opportunity for victory at the 2006 RBC Heritage. But this time was different. He was mentally tough. Actually, yeah, I don't remember making the putt at all. I remember afterwards, but I don't remember making it. Because like, I got blacked out, like, it was just like, total, just, total, all into it. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Wow, you finally did it. And just kind of the monkey off his back, because there's been so much media on him. You know, he wasn't what people thought he was supposed to be. So that really just kind of got everybody away from him in a sense. But to be honest, he never felt that anyway. He knew that he had a lot of growing to do before he was going to become one of the best. Less than 10 months later, Baddeley was back in the winter circle at the Waste Management Phoenix Open, his home away from home. I've been living in Scottsdale for 12 years, and uh, that was a time I really wanted to win. It was super special because everybody was there. I celebrate with everybody. It was awesome. It looked as if Bads had turned the corner and was ready to fulfill his prophecy. But the muscle car enthusiast's game was again idling. At the start of 2009, I felt like I was sort of just spinning the wheels. I wasn't really going anywhere. If anything, I was going backwards. And I felt like I needed to make a change. The swing changes he made took three years longer than expected. But in 2011, they finally paid off. Riviera's always been one of my favorite events. I had my family in the whole week. When I walked off 13 after making a really good putt, I had a three-shot lead, and Rochelle was like, you're up by three, come on, we can do this. That's the real prize. That's right. People wonder sometimes, hey, these guys haven't won in a long time. What's going on? What's happened to the hey. game? You know what? He was a father here. He was a dad for a couple of years. That's the way to finish. Aaron Baddeley back in the winner's circle again. It was the first win with my, um, with my daughters, you know? Sorry, it was uh, it was pretty cool because uh, I mean I love my family, so it was awesome. Baddeley finished 14th in the FedEx Cup standings last year and is off to a solid start this season, ready to defend his title at Riviera. I'm really excited with, with my game. Uh, I feel like my swing is all there. It's just a matter of just getting a little bit better in certain areas of the game to become more consistent overall.